Miss Blackburn, and we're going to do some drawing again today. The last time I saw you, we did the letter N, and we drew a newt. Today is going to be letter O day, and we're going to get to our O animal in just a bit. Before we get to that, we are going to check out our N drawings that were sent to me. Here we have Cameron's. Nice job. I like your newt right there by the water. Well done. Here is Mia. Mia, love those bright, bold colors. Nice job. Caleb, you also put yours near the water. Nice job. It says sun in the sky. You made block letters to spell out sun. Very cool. Coraline, one of our pre-K friends. Great job. I love all those colors. With Andrew, he's saying that his newt is camouflage, blending into the surroundings. Very cool. Valerie. It's like Valerie put her new, uh, maybe like beside a rock there. See, Lathan. Lathan, it looks like you gave yours a party hat. Very cool. Carolyn, Lynn. It's like maybe your newt is getting ready to, I don't know, maybe eat that insect next to it. He looks hungry. Here we have Ariel. Newt. Newts can grow to seven inches. Yeah, I think primarily we learned that they were around three to five, but they can get as big as seven or eight inches. Very cool. Thank you for the fact. And then that's the last one. I did want to share this with you. Um, I love when you guys send me extra artwork that you're doing. Uh, this was uh, very cool to see. It looks like you used uh, sidewalk chalk to do your whole driveway there. Very cool. All right. So today... We are going to be doing sea otters. Uh, there's many different types of otters. There's many different types of otters. Uh, there's uh, where we live, North American river otters. Uh, there's um, giant otters. There's clawless otters. There's different otters throughout the uh, world. Um, but like I said, where we live, there's primarily the river otter. And uh, there's also sea otters, which are... Um, more in the north parts, uh, way up in Alaska and Canada, that's where we're going to find the sea otters. And I really like sea otters. They were one of my favorite animals uh, when I worked at the Pittsburgh Zoo. Um, they have river otters also at the Pittsburgh Zoo. They have both, both types there. Um, one of my jobs at the end of the day, when everybody had left the zoo, um, I had uh, I was assigned to walk through the zoo and make sure that nobody left any of the wagons behind. So you can a wagon, um, maybe if you have younger brothers and sisters that don't want to quite walk, or maybe you have a lot of items with you that you need to carry, um, you'd rather put it in a wagon. So sometimes people would leave the wagons, and that was a job at the end of the day to go collect them up. So I would walk through the zoo at the end of the day when um, everyone else had left, and I would make sure to always check in with the sea otters. It's been quite some time. I know the one was named Alki. I think the other one was maybe Mish Mishka or Mishki. I can't remember, um, but they were one of my favorite uh, animals to stop by. And then if you continue and go way down to Kids Kingdom where there's a jungle gym, um, there's the kangaroos, uh, sea lions, there's uh, all sorts of different animals down in Kids Kingdom where the jungle gyms are. And that's where the river otters were. So um, I was always sure to kind of check in with them. They were my favorite animals to watch. I think they're very neat. So let's learn a little bit about sea otters before we draw them today. Sea otters have a thick underfur that traps air to form an insulating layer against the chilly waters. That's what keeps them afloat, that air trapped in their hair. That thick coat helps them to remain waterproof and insulated against the cold because way up in Alaska, those are going to be cold, icy waters. So their thick fur helps keep them afloat and keep them warm. And I like this otter. He looks like he's waving at us. Otters sometimes float in forests of kelp or giant seaweed uh, in which they tangle themselves to provide anchorage in the swirling sea. So they don't want to float away. You can imagine um, if you were on a raft, you might float. Same thing with them. They would float around. So if they want to stay in one space, one area, they get themselves tangled up in some seaweed, as you can see there. Um, he's holding on with his, his feet. That way he doesn't float away. He's anchored or docked. Let's see. Sea otters have webbed feet, which they use to help them swim. So you can see they're um, like little flippers to help them get through the water. 
Sea otters carry their babies while they float. So there you can see little baby sea otters catching a ride on top of mama's belly. And normally when you see the sea otters, they are floating on their backs, keeping their head up and they are floating. The sea otter spends most of its time in water, which is actually quite different from the river otters. River otters, um, they spend most of their time on land and water. Um, so just to show you kind of the difference between the two, again, sea otters living up here along Alaska and Canada, these icy waters up here, um, whereas compared to the other otters, this pink is showing the North American river otter. So they are all around um, in North America. But there's other types of otters, like clawless otters, which are found in South America. Or I'm sorry, that's the giant otter in South America. The clawless otter, um, the Cape clawless otter, and the Congo clawless otter, they're found here in Africa. And then there's also the um, Asian otter found over here. So you can find otters pretty much um, most every continent, not Europe, not Australia, not Antarctica, but on the other continents, you do see them there. Just to show you a little of a, bit of a comparison, here's a sea otter. There he is, I can tell. He's floating on his back. He's, he's quite large. Um, he would be probably almost as large as um, my dog, Marco. Um, they are big, like a, like a Labrador or Golden Retriever dog, whereas the river otter, they are much smaller. Um, they're going to be about maybe the size of a groundhog. Um, and there you can see the, the difference. The river otter is much smaller, has a small, thin tail, whereas the uh, sea otter has a thick, wide tail that helps it steer through the sea. Again, sea otter stays in the water most of the time. The river otter comes out on land. This is a fact that maybe it's one of the reasons I really like sea otters. I think it's so cute that um, when they sleep, they still sleep in water and they don't want to float away from their family. So they hold hands with one another. They lock hands so that while they are sleeping, they're still held on to their family. Um, river otters, they sleep together in a den on land. So a little bit different. River otters, they are going to eat outside of the water, whereas sea otters, they, again, stay in the water. So for a sea otter, they would catch a crab or they might find um, a clamshell to break open. What's cool about the clamshells is they put it on their belly and then they get a rock to kind of bang it open. But they use their belly as their table that they eat off of. Um, so little things that are different about the sea otter and the river otter. Um, I really like the sea otter, so that's the one that we're going to draw today. So I'm going to come on over here to draw today and this one we are going to be drawing the sea otter but we still are going to make our letter o so to start with our letter o we are going to get a big letter o and then we're going to put an o inside there and then i'm going to start at the top and make a curve oops there we go a curve around from the top to the bottom and then on the inside i'm going to make a curve the other way from the top to the bottom and that's going to be our block letter up to make our sea otter we're going to make him floating with his belly up in the water so um, let's start with his face first going to make an oval shape and to give him some ears I'm going to do a rainbow line I'm making it close to his head and a little rainbow on the inside same thing on the other side rainbow line and a little one on the inside in the middle of our oval, I'm going to make a rainbow line, and then I'm going to make some zigzags, so like letter M's, little zigzag down to the bottom, and we want to show this for letter M's down to the bottom, and then let's give him a nose, so I'm going to give a, uh, a smile line there, and then colored in. He has a black nose. Make it a little bit bigger. 
Let's give him his smile. So I'm going to come down, smile up, down from the middle, smile up. And I think I'm going to make my otter have a, you can leave it like this, or if you want it, um, your otter to have a open mouth, just draw a little smile underneath it. And then I'm going to actually draw one more smile and color this in like his mouth is open there. All right. Well, let's give him some eyes. Give my otter some happy eyes. But fucking little eyebrows. We also want to give him some whiskers. He has some whiskers. All right. Next step, let's um, add his hands. So I want to bring from his head, I'm going to make some zigzag lines a little bit going down. It's going to be like his shoulder. Over here, I'm going to make a letter, upside down letter U or a rainbow line. And then I'm going to make a letter M zigzag. We're going to make this go into the water, so that's why I'm not drawing it the whole way. I am going to put a little curved line and a little curved line just to show his little toes. The other side over here. Going to make an oval or a circle. Same thing, there's little curved lines to show his little toes. And then I'm going to make some zigzags. Just like that. Now, let's go ahead and put in our water. So, our water. It's just going to be some wave lines. It's like a flat smile. And I'm going to continue it over here. And before I continue it over here, let's give him some feet. So I'm going to make like a candy cane with another bump and then a candy cane down. That's going to be like his big flipper feet. I'm going to do the same thing, number two, candy cane, bump, candy cane, down. That's his other foot. And now I'll put some lines there, show his little flipper feet. Now, we want these also to be underwater, so I'm going to put waves in front of his feet. And I'm going to continue those waves that we did before. And we can put more waves. And I see that he's not connected, so I'm going to continue this line down so he is connected. Now, lots of cool uh, details that you can add. I'm going to add more waves back here. But there's lots of details. You can decide what is your um, otter eating. Is he eating a crab? Is he eating uh, maybe a clam shell that he's going to break open? Um, I'm going to give him a little clam shell that he can be eating. But you may decide what you would like your little otter to eat. Uh, they are carnivores, so they would be eating um, different types of sea creatures. Uh, we also know that they live up in those icy northern waters, so I'm going to draw some mountains. Let me do some overlapping, all right? Some are in front, some are behind, that overlapping. Maybe I'll put some snow on top of these mountains. You can make trees back there, or you may do it however you would like. Another mountain there. Oop. And then the fun part is coloring it in, adding good details, coloring it in, oops, coloring it in. 
add some lines to my gray mountains. For my sea otter, let's give him some icy blue water to swim in. Boop. And let's color my sea otter in. Nice brown. I'm actually going to make his mouth area a little lighter. When we looked at the pictures, it was a little lighter. There we go. Oh, and I got to do his little shell. A little gray shell there to eat. And I always like to add some extra details, so we'll put a little bit extra different color blue in the water to make it stand out. Maybe you make another otter. However you would like. All right, I think that's looking pretty, pretty good. Put that back over. Oops. Where's my camera? All right. Um, I hope you had fun today drawing along with me, doing the sea otter, one of my favorite animals. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys do for yours. Uh, please be sure to share them with me. Um, this is uh, week number two of online learning for us. Um, just as a reminder, Friday, we do not have school. We do not have online learning. We're off for um, a little bit of our spring break there. So um, I hope that you and your family have a lovely week. And I can't wait to see what strawlings you do this week. All right, take care.